This is the Hardwick J Retry system and in this video we are going to be breaking it down and showing you how to navigate around it safely. Why we don't stop on the entry and what to do if you can't move over to your required lane. So stay tuned, we hope you enjoy the content and find it useful. So we are now travelling down the A465 heads of the Valleys Road towards the Hardwick J Retry system. This is a national speed limit road, so we're going to have to reduce our speed quite a lot on the approach to the gyratory system. So shortly down this road now, you will start to see yellow rumble strips across the carriageway. These are there to alert us of our speed, and as a reminder that we need to start slowing down on the approach. As the front of our car reaches the first rumble strip, this is the moment that we need to come completely off the gas and start easing onto the brake. Just enough to activate the brake lights so that following road users know that we are slowing down. We are now approaching the first road sign that indicates to us that this is not a roundabout. We will stop at this sign so that you can take a better look. The first thing that I would like to point out is the no entry sign to the right hand side. This indicates to us that it is a one way system. So knowing this, we know that all traffic will be approaching from the right. The second thing that I would like to mention is there is no indication of a give way. I emphasise this as it can be dangerous to stop on the gyratory system. Now let's take a closer look at the second sign that is in the bottom right of the overlay. This sign indicates that this slip road is a lane gain. What this means is that there is no give way line and that the lane we are in becomes an extra lane and does not interfere with the traffic already on the gyratory system telling us that we stay in our lane and do not stop on the entry. So now let's get the video moving again and take a look at the next part. As we approach the gyratory system now you will see a repeat sign of the one we just spoke about reminding us that this is a lane gain. Now let's take a look at this section here. We can see that we still have no signs telling us to give way. The triangle pavement area on the right hand side extends out past our lane on the entry. This gives us protection from the oncoming vehicles as we enter the gyratory system. Follow the left lane around until the road straightens out. Now let's stop and take a closer look at these road signs. We will be following this road sign for the A40 Abergavenny. To achieve this, we will need to move two lanes to the right. Each lane change will need to be done separately, so we will mirrors and signal for the first lane change, then cancel the signal, recheck the mirrors, and reapply a signal for the second lane change. The reason for this is other road users might think that we have forgotten to cancel the signal and might not be expecting us to make the second lane change. Now let's take a look at these lane changes. Once we have made our two lane changes, we need to stick to the right lane and maintain a steady speed, as picking up too much speed here on the bend will result in the car drifting into the neighbouring lane. We can now see the road numbers painted on the road confirming that we are in the correct lane for the A40 heading towards Abergavenny. As we come around this bend now you will see the warning signs informing us that we are approaching the roundabout. Ahead of us now we have the roundabout direction sign which we will stop to take a look at. I have now inserted a clock face in the top left of the screen to help illustrate the 12 o'clock rule. We are following this roundabout sign for the A40 towards Abergavenny and Brecon. We can see that this exit is to the right hand side of 12 o'clock and in the blue zone, telling us that we need to use the right hand lane for the roundabout. So let's get the first part of this video finished and take a look at the roundabout. Bring in the speed down now and into first gear as it's fairly busy. Keeping an eye to the right, looking for our gap in the traffic, which there isn't. Coming to a stop and waiting for a gap in the traffic. So 
So when it's safe to go, we will enter the roundabout and stick to the right hand lane. Keeping it nice and neat, about a metre away from the kerb, which is roughly an open car door. Checking our centre and left mirror, and giving a signal to exit the roundabout. Checking our mirrors for anyone that has followed us in closely, and then increasing our speed. Now, I bet you're all thinking, but what if it's busy and I can't move over the two lanes once I have entered the gyratory system? Well, we'll take a look at that shortly in this video. But first, now let's take a look at how to navigate around the gyratory system without all the stopping. This will give you a better view of what it will look like when you are driving it. So I would like to remind you that we have the yellow rumble strips coming up, and when we reach them, we will need to come completely off the gas. If you are liking this video so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. This helps us to see how many people this video is helping. So as we now enter the rumble strips, the direction that I will give you is, when safe to do so, I would like you to move two lanes to the right. Now we need to start braking and looking to reduce our speed down to around 25 miles per hour, then into third gear before we get to the entry. By the end of the rumble strips you should now have the correct speed and gear to enter the gyratory system smoothly. Following it around in the left hand lane till the road is nice and straight, then checking your mirrors and giving a signal for the first lane change. Then cancelling the signal, rechecking the mirrors and applying the second signal for the second lane change. Maintaining a steady speed now so that we can stick to our lane as we come around the system. A reminder here that too much speed will cause you to lose your position. The direction that you will now be given is, at the roundabout I would like you to take the third exit following the road sign for Abergavenny. If you have come this far in the video and are enjoying the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this. It really does help us out and motivates us to make more videos. Now we need to check our mirrors and give our signal for the roundabout. I'm going to cut this clip here so that we can get straight into what happens if we can't move over the two lanes. As you have already seen how to complete this roundabout. I am again heading down the A465 Heads of the Valleys Road towards the gyratory system, but this time we are going to assume for some reason we are unable to move over and change lanes. For example, this can sometimes happen if there are two or three lorries in a row that have left very little gap between them. There is nothing to panic about with this situation, and the solution is quite simple. All that we need to do is to recognise that we are not going to be able to make the lane change safely, and then make the decision to divert our route up to the Hardwick pub and back. I will now show you this route where the pub is, and the best way to turn the car around when you get there. We have now entered the gyratory system and made the decision that we are unable to change lanes. So from here, we are just going to stay in our lane, which takes us off at the first exit. Now all that's left to do is to follow the B4598 until we reach the Hardwick pub. There is nothing wrong with making this decision, and it is perfectly fine. To speed things up and make things a little less boring for you guys, I'm going to put my foot down until we get a little bit closer to the pub. I am going to slow back down now as we are almost at our turning. As we approach the turning now we need to check the centre and left mirror then give a signal. Take note of how soon after we make the turn in, the red car passes us. This is a perfect example of why we need to check our mirrors and give our signal in plenty of time. Reducing our speed right down now to a speed that is suitable for the road that we are travelling on, then further reducing to a speed that will allow us better control to manoeuvre the car into the best position for the junction. So let's freeze by here so we can take a look at the best way 
to do this. Now check in the centre and left mirror as we need to move to the left slightly to give ourselves more manoeuvre space to complete the turn. Staying too far to the right will mean that the car won't have enough space to fully turn into the best position, making it more difficult to see in both directions for our gap in the traffic. We also need to be aware that other road users may want to enter, so we need to position in a way that allows them to do so safely. Following the path marked out in green will give you the best vision and keep the junction clear for any vehicles wanting to enter. Now let's move on and take a look at this turn. Coming out slightly to the left, locking my steer into the right and then landing perfectly in the junction. Now that I can see down the road perfectly in both directions, all that I have to do is wait for a gap in the traffic. It's looking all clear after this black van. We are now going to make our way back down towards the gyratory system and take a look at the entry from this direction as it's not the same method as for joining the other way. If there are any areas of Abergavenny that you would like me to break down for you, leave a message in the comments. This will help us to know what content it is that you would like to see. I'm going to put my foot down again now just to cut out this long boring stretch of lane. I will slow it back down now a bit as we approach. From this direction we also have the yellow rumble strips advising us when best to start reducing our speed. So as we get to these rumble strips now, we will start to reduce our speed and prepare for the junction. You will now notice that we have a direction sign coming up on the left informing us that it is a one way system and that to the right is no entry. Looking at the entry to the gyratory system now, you will notice that there is a give way sign, meaning that we have to give way to traffic already on the system. You will also notice the give way line markings on the floor. When we enter the gyratory system now, we will need to position into the right hand lane, ready to take the third exit right at the roundabout. Following the road sign for A40 Abergavenny. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next video.